So welcome back and today I'm going to be talking about the Solar Regatta. The open invitation is still extended to all and the date is now set for the 19th of this month. That's a Saturday. Uh, they might be running the event twice because people not, might not be able to get to it from their time zone so I'm thinking about doing that. Um, the basics is we're going to be going around the sun in a big group there will be a racing element to it but for some parts of the race i will require everybody to be together just for the purposes of getting pictures and video i'll have a cameraman in a stealth ship who will warp ahead of the fleet to predetermined points so that we can get good shots of everybody coming by the uh, uh coming by the checkpoints i think there's going to be either four or five checkpoints a checkpoint will take the form of a station with many plex doors uh, sorry, Plex storages. Each Plex storage will actually have um, uh, a captain's log inside it with the next location. So this is a bit like orienteering. You will all be flying to a point, and then when we get to the point, you'll have to get out, go up, get the get the location of the next point, get back in your ship, and then fly to it. Uh, just to add a little bit more sort of uh, challenge for people, there will be obstacles. So there will be sectors full of pirates, there will be sectors with pirate fortresses in the way, and there will be minefields for people that didn't choose to fit shields when I told them to. Um, we should be fine, you know, if you focused on defence, you should be able to just fly through it, but yeah. Um, the idea is to disencourage people from flying in a straight line, even though you can, uh, so that everyone arrives at the uh, point, you know, not necessarily in the same uh, at the same time. Basically, it means that little ships might be able to navigate, say, asteroid sectors, but the big ships won't, so they'll have to go round, which gives the little ships a bit of an advantage. But then, of course, once you come by some of the new pirate stations, which have shields and bigger turrets now, a little ship would have to go around them, whereas a big one would would be able to just steam straight through it. Now I appreciate some of the sail ships which are actually entered aren't here um, and that's because I either don't have the blueprints or I couldn't remember the names so just when making this short video I decided to just pull a few blueprints off the catalogue um, if I haven't covered them yet they're probably still work in progress so um, that's the deal the uh, limits you got a max dimension size of 150 so you can you know 150 length width height so you can't go any bigger than 150 in any in any dimension. Also, the thrust limit has been set at 1.5 thrust to every one mass. Okay, so people have asked questions about that, but it it, it is literally for a hundred blocks of mass, you can have a hundred points of thrust. That's uh, sorry, 150. Here we go. There I go, confusing everyone. I'm going to start that again. For a hundred points of mass, you can have 150 points of thrust okay that's 1.5 to 1 so um, that's the notes for that so uh, yeah there's going to be obstacles there's going to be a race it will be f either four or five points around the sun we'll have stations with captain's logs with the location of the next point so people can just you know if you're quick you can pull away from the pack and uh, get ahead quite easy uh, there will be asteroid sectors and I'll be covering that in later uh, I'll be covering that in a later video and um, yeah please do come down the address is mushroomfleet.co.uk or you can email me at mushroomfleet at gmail.com um, and all the updates for this event will be going up on Twitter which is at mushroomfleet again it's not at mushroomfleet again it's just at mushroomfleet <laughs> um, and yeah, I can't wait for it. We've got about two weeks because it's Saturday today. I decided to extend it so that we can get a few more people involved by an, by an extra week. So like I say, Saturday the 19th of this month, October. And like I say, these are just some sailors I've pulled off out of the entries list. Although there are quite a few more. Do you know what? I'm starting to think this solar sailor might actually be too long for the event. But it looks so awesome! So we've got a couple of solar sailors that were built a little bit too big. It might it might not be. I think it is actually about... It looks like 300 long. I don't know. But in any case, it looks sick. It's sick. <laughs> and I did just spawn it. So I don't know if it's an actual entry or just a sail ship build. 
so yeah, um, as you can see, the lineup's starting to fatten out. I think I've got about four more which I uh, haven't lined up here. And thanks to the fleet as well who actually lined these ships up for me while I was at work. Great job. So that's me basically uh, finishing off there. Can't wait for the regatta. We've got two more weeks. So enter your ships and bring them down. See you soon.